After almost a four hour drive, I arrived at today's location to conditions that weren't exactly forecasted. Now my intention to photograph this scene was to only use the many rock pools for the reflections of this beautiful lighthouse. However, as I was setting up my first shot, I quickly realized that the light was the worst type of light and I'd need to go black and white. So to give you a full experience of a mono world, everything on from here on out will be in mono. the channel welcome back to the vlog today you join me I'm in the sunny southeast and I'm at a place called Hook Head and it's Hook Head Lighthouse and it is a phenomenal spot to photograph and I've wanted to come here for a long period of time but didn't really have the time to be able to get down here it's a good enough journey from home but I decided today that I'm going to take the journey down and I've arrived here actually mid-afternoon so it's a clear sky day, the light is extremely harsh, so I'm not really going to take your standard type of photograph, but today is going to be all about reflections. So along the rocks here, you've got a multitude of rock pools. So what I'm going to do is move around, get different compositions, but all about the reflection of this mighty uh, hook lighthouse being reflected into the pools below me. So come on, let's go. Let's see how we get on today. So I've set up my first composition here and I'm putting, as you can see here, the lighthouse in the left hand third. And I'm also using the framing as well of these rocks that are over here that are all leaning in over towards the lighthouse. I've also had to be very, very specific in the positioning of my tripod because as you can see right about here, it just gets cut off. So I'm actually just on the exact right positioning to be able to have the uninterrupted reflection of the lighthouse in the frame. The other challenge that I have is you can probably see me here if I move my hand you can see my shadow because the sun is directly behind me. So when I'm taking the shot I have to move out of the way so that I don't get in the uh, frame of my shadow but I'm also going to have the shadow of the uh, tripod. So that is going to present a challenge the positioning of the sun but I know that as I move around and I find some different rock pools that may not become so prevalent. So for the first one anyway here as you can see there's the composition that's the way I've set it up. I'll show you the shot now and then we'll move over to find the next spot. second rock pool now and the shadow problem seems to have dissipated slightly because I've moved over further and I'm kind of pointing in a different direction not directly about the sun behind me but with this rock pool I've decided to come down quite low to be able to capture the reflection of hook uh, in the rock pool that's in front of me and also this rock pool as well has a nice kind of an outside framing of yellow green uh, seaweed which I think will be nice as well on the bottom of the frame I'm placing the lighthouse as well directly in the center and what I might end up doing actually is going for a square crop in relation to this maybe maybe not but one challenge that I'm thinking I'm going to have here today is people because it's quite popular it's a sunny day it's a summer's day so there's people walking on the rocks constantly so I might end up having to clone those out or just change the crop and that will uh, alleviate that problem as well but yeah this is the uh, second shot here that I'm taking at the moment and uh, yeah, I'll show you this one now next and then we'll find another rock pool. is one it's a very very small pool actually so what I've decided to do is change the camera into portrait orientation and I'm up high at the moment here to be able to just get the top 
of the lighthouse in the reflection. But what I'm also going to do now next is I'm going to put the camera as low as I can go. Now, because the tripods that I have have a central column, I can't exactly go as low as I'd like to go. So what I probably end up doing is placing the camera directly on the rocks below me here, right at the lip of this pool. And that then will really get the most of the reflection that you can get within the actual uh, image. At the moment, actually, I'm shooting at 1 320th of a second. I'm at f8 and my ISO is at 100 because it's so bright. Like there's not a cloud in the sky, so there's no clouds behind it and there's definitely no clouds when you be blocking the sun. So it's really, really harsh light. So I'm trying to make the most of what I have and I don't need to have any sort of complicated shutter speed or anything like that because the light is so bright, I can go relatively fast as well. And the advantage of going fast is that you will be able to freeze the action. So you'll get no movement whatsoever in the water and you should end up with a clean reflection. <laughs> come right back now as far as I can actually come back right behind me here is the cliff and the water and I have this pool which is relatively unobstructed there's not much weeds within that so I think I should end up with a very very clean reflection and by getting the camera right down on the ground again I can really extenuate that reflection so you won't see any of the foreground between me and the lighthouse which is probably 50 meters away but by doing that and composing it specifically to get rid of that area you end up with a very minimalist shot but a nice reflection as well nonetheless so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog thank you very very much as always for joining if it's your first time on the channel please consider subscribing give me a like give me a comment and until the next time schlange fall